all right i know i haven't done videos in a while so let me do a video i've been playing games though i've been streaming games but i haven't done any uh pickups that i've done got so many games so let me start off all right these pickups gonna be well i think i got one ps4 game and mostly xbox games so let's go through it all right first game first game this is a game i ordered a while ago just pretty much just go into it so this game here trials of cold steel 3 the early enrollment edition um pretty much this game here um they had a deal on it and i pretty much wanted to get it um they had it for a cheap price and i got it through gamestop but it took forever man um for them to clear it like um, the price I got it for, as you can see, is $3, $3, and they didn't want to give it to me. <laughs> it took forever for them to send this. They had this deal that went on, and I was able to, 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 to get it, and it took forever for them to send this. Um, I don't know why. I don't know if they was, didn't want to give it to me, but... Uh, I was waiting forever for this game, and they finally, I got an email saying they were sending it, so, um, Trials of Cold Steel, they recommend you to play the first two games, um, first two games deal with the Civil War with the, uh, class, um, Seven Ops, pretty much, um, so it's recommended you play the earlier game, um, uh, let's go look, read the back a little bit. The embers of war are about to ignite. Um, so, the legend of Class 7 begins a new meet new allies, utilize dynamic battle systems, experience an epic story years in the making. Um, pretty much um, includes branch campus student directory, um, selfie cover art book, anthems, and Thor's branch campus five tracks soundtrack. So, uh, pretty much in this game, um, you're dealing with the Class 7 after this, pretty much the Civil War. This is a time when um, it's kind of like um, chill time, like, you know, after the Civil War. So, it's kind of like everything's calmed down and dealing with that. So, you're dealing with the, uh, pretty much the one of the characters who was a child in the previous games he is the teacher now um reen if i if i'm not if i'm not mistaken the guy right here um so pretty much um you know it's a recap of um uh, it gives you kind of a recap of the previous games but it's best to play the other games as so you kind of understand the story um so pretty much you know, it was a resolution of the Civil War, and you know, people are rebuilding their lives and whatnot. And Reen um, is the pretty much like the teacher now, who he was a previous student. Um, so um, he's the teacher of the class seven ops. Um, he's a class of pretty much problem child that hate the teacher, but eventually gain, you know, you know, start to love the teacher. Uh, so war, you know, pretty much tensions is ruined for another scenario. So pretty much in this collectors, well, no, in this early enrollment edition, uh, you get the soundtrack, five, five song soundtrack. Um, so this comes with it as well as the actual game. So you get the campus directory, which shows you the uh, the characters, kind of like an art style book um, that kind of shows off the characters and whatnot. Um, so that's pretty much just a glimpse of it, so you can kind of know. I also like the other cover as well, so let me show you that. So this is the cover. Um, so this is the cover for the current game now. But I like the other cover. It looks totally, totally cool to me. Um, as you can see it, 
So Travico Steel is kind of like a fiery, uh, fiery thing. So let me show you real quick. Hold on. So pretty much, this is the other cover that I'm gonna leave it as. I think that makes it look way better. So. I think that's a totally better cover. Uh, kind of makes it look uh, way cooler than the other cover that's that comes with it. Um, so Trials of Cold Steel, um, your RPG style game that deals with that concept. Great story, um, great action um, that I got for the cheap. So Trials of Cold Steel, check that out. All right. Uh, the next games are going to be some scary games that I've been looking at and I finally pulled the trigger to get it. Um, so pretty much the first game. The Evil Within. Uh, these games are that horror throwback. You know, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, uh, but let's read it first. Into the mind of a mad, a madman. After witness the slaughter of fellow officer Sebastian is ambushed, knocked out unconscious. When he awakens, he finds himself in a deranged world where hideous creatures wander among the dead, facing unimaginable terror and fighting for survival. Sebastian embarks on a frightening journey to unravel what's behind this evil force. So, uh pretty much this game you're dealing with the I hate when the horns are like come on man get it together man like what in the world so um let's look a little bit into it um sorry for that horn some idiot so make sure I don't show nothing off okay so this is pretty much a used copy anyway, so it's probably already used for that fighting chance pack. So, Evil Within. Pretty much is a throwback to those Resident Evil games. If I'm not mistaken, it's one of the creators from that. Um, if not, it's, it's, it's a major throwback to that game. To, to that Resident Evil game. Sorry for the horn. Some stupid idiot got his horn just going. So, um, so pretty much in this game, you're dealing with the protagonist, this guy named Sebastian, who is a cop. So he's investigating uh, this crime at this mental hospital, and while viewing the film or viewing the the security tapes. He sees these cops murdered. And once he sees the cop murdered, he's pretty much knocked out. Knocked, you know, knocked unconscious. Wakes up. Wakes up. He's uh, hanging upside down. And these deranged, demented characters are looking at him. And he finds, he gets himself loose. And pretty much he's dealing with this. He's in this crazy world and just pretty much looking to survive. Um, so, you know, pretty much in his game as well. He's uh, he's dealing, you deal with RPG mechanics as far as upgrading your character. Um, you know, so uh, great game, a lot of horror, a lot of jump scares, a lot of just making it out of it. Um, so great game if you're into these style games um if you like the resident evil type stuff you'll definitely love this game here he just stopped and then stopped again this is crazy so the evil within pick that up evil within and one so to stay with the theme um pretty much um 
to stay with this gets throwing me off to stay with the theme of scariness the next game next game is going to be why not the evil within 2 so this is part 2 of the game um part 2 um let's read it back the only way out is in uh your detective sebastian castellanos and uh, you're at your lowest point but when given a, a chance to save your daughter, you must enter the world filled with nightmares to bring her back. Horrifying threats emerge from every corner of the world. Twist warps you in. Will you, will you, will you face adversity head on? Weapons, traps, sneak throughs, and shadows to survive. So, uh, pretty much in his game, Sebastian Castellanos is at, is at his lowest point, pretty much. Meaning lost his job daughter I think his daughter is dead but as he finds out um his daughter is not dead um and he has to go back into that sick twisted world because of uh they created this world from his daughter I don't want to go too deep into it to mess it up but they gotta he gotta go to the sick twisted world and pretty much by going into this world, he's trying to uh, stop this killer who's taking over this world they created. And now they got two horns going off now. What's going on around here? So he's going in this sick, twisted world. And he's trying to, st you know, they hired him because they know him. He, he's dealt with this before. So uh, he he agrees to go into this world because of um because of his daughter and and the, and the the i guess you would say the uh the to, to pretty much just to save his daughter you know to get his life somewhat back so um you're dealing with that you're dealing with all these deranged characters a little bit more um more jump scare more creative killing as far as using certain things to kill these 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 enemies uh very creative when it comes to uh the killing of these deranged characters in this game you know you might have to use electricity to shock them you might uh throw stuff you know a lot of crouching hiding in this game and it's come almost like kind of like the last of us uh so you know or you could do all right just shoot and kill you know pretty much so even within two i wanted these two games i think they were pretty good pretty good games i know you could try them out i think they both on game pass but i like the physical so um so check them out on there all right Next game, next game. This is game. It's also going to be on Game Pass as well. But I wanted the physical of this game. Um, always heard about this game, and I um, just wanted a physical of it. Um, and I wanted a specific physical version of this game. Um, I got it sealed, which is Recore. Um, this Recore comes with the controller skin as well, as you can see. Um, so this game here, and that was only at Best Buy, um, this game here, um, Recore, uh, it's like pretty much this game here, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's from one, if not the creators or one of the creators of, uh, Metroid, um, here you go, it kind of, yeah, of Metroid Prime, as you can see. On a mysterious planet, Far Eden, a courageous human survivor, Joel, Jewel Adams, joins her char charming Korbot uh, companion on an epic adventure to save mankind. Experience a new masterpiece from Kiji and Foon and the makers of Matcher Prime. Build a perfect battle party, collecting, customizing your Korbot's companions. Your Korbot skins dangerous fiends, foes and to cover your secrets of far eating. 
So pretty much in this game, it, you know what you're getting. Um, it kind of gives you a concept. If you know Metroid Prime, um, there's a lot of puzzles, um, a lot of enemies. So pretty much you're on this planet um, where um, where uh, pretty much humans have been wiped out by this virus. So pretty much on this planet, it's like pretty much only you. Well, you meet. I don't want to go too deep off into it. So you're on this planet, and it's kind of like infested with these robots, these um, these robot animals, pretty much. So uh, as you go through the game, you you encounter certain robots that become that you befriend, and you have to kill these other robots. So a lot of these robots have different colors or different cores that give off different colors and you get a certain guns that can be more effective against those colors and certain uh, certain uh, companions companion bots that are more effective at, at on certain enemies as well so pretty much you're killing these robotic enemy you know enemies Jewel, as you can see, she's up there. Jewel, um, sure. Jewel, female protagonist. Um, also, you can see certain other bots in the background that you obtain as well. So, uh, you got your your rider one that's in the back. You ride that one. You got your spider one. You got your dog one, which is the main one that you start off with, and you got your like almost eight big like eight type one. And I haven't found this one yet. I think this is a, like a glider style one. And all these are core bots that you use throughout the game. Um, pretty much, you explore, you explore, open world exploring. They have dungeons, you go in these dungeons, you get a certain amount of stuff. Um, so so pretty much you're 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 killing these robotic beasts that drop parts that help you upgrade your bot. So you're pretty much you're you're killing these bots, you know, you got a lot of enemies, then you you might go to a certain section and they have this main one. So you kill these, you go in these dungeons, kill this main bot, which drops a lot of other things to upgrade your characters. So it's a pretty, pretty cool game. Um, pretty fun game. Um, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, so uh, if you're into that style game, you could remind you, you can see that the, you can feel like the touches of the, like the Metroid up in this game, the female protagonist. Uh, on this planet um, so great game pick it up it's on game pass if you want to just you know just try it out so there you go record all right so the next games um, I got are some Xbox 360 games I wanted to get these games before they disappear I think these games these next two games that I'm gonna show um, are eventually they're rising in price and I think they're gonna be hard to find in the future um, especially physical um, they may have them on game pass I don't even know to be honest with you but I want it physical anyway so um, pretty much um, first game is a sewer's raft sewer's raft so um, Let's read the back. Uh, let's read the, in 16 years of playing games, I've never seen anything like Sir's Rap. Betrayed by the gods, banished for 12,000 years. His wife killed, his daughter kidnapped, in a truly unique blend of breathtaking action, breathtaking action, and story. Sir's Rap takes you on a relentless quest for revenge, against foes with unimaginable powers. So, uh, Sir's Wrath um, is a game, um, 
it's kind of reminiscent. Like these two games are reminiscent of um, God of War style games, especially the first God of Wars. Um, in this game, you know, pretty much a stunning mix of Asian mythology and sci-fi, seamless blend of gameplay and story, and relentless action and near impossible challenge. So, Rage Never Dies. So, pretty much in this game, you're dealing with Asura. Um, as you can see, wife killed, daughter kidnapped. You pretty much banished for 12,000 years. So, you come back to this world, finding out, you know, you're angered and and pretty much mad at these guys where which you were banished. So, you pretty much coming back to whoop you know kick you know what so let's go into it a little bit kind of show you like a little bit of the so a sir uh story hero was once an eight guardians general that led the, the shinko army but was betrayed by seven comrades who abducted his daughter slew his wife and left him to die so pretty much but even in death, he was filled with incredible rage that led him back to the world of living. So, um, so it's these are the deities or the characters who used to be friends, I guess you could kind of say. That you're going to be dealing with through this game. Just want to kind of show you. So, Asura's daughter, chosen as sole priestess of Sko, she is the only demigod able to control and amplify mantra to the full extent of his power. Because of this, she has been taken against her will by the seven deities. So, they find out his daughter has this power and pretty much is kidnapped and he's killed, wife killed. And he come back in his rage, pretty much. And ready to whoop tail. So that's pretty much what the story entails. Uh, pretty much um, in his game, he's betrayed by the gods. You're a demigod, Asura. And, you know, in his game, there's a lot of action, like God of War. You're fighting enemies, as you can see. A lot of quick time events in this game, what makes it fun, almost like a, a cartoon slash, uh, you know, epic epic game that you play, and you fight these epic cr creatures in this game. So it's like these larger of life characters that you're fighting, and uh, so it kind of shows you a little bit these larger than life characters um, that you that you end up fighting. Um, great game. I think it's very slept on game. Um, if you haven't heard about it, maybe on Game Pass, I don't know. But um, great game nonetheless. Um, as sure as Wrath, um, pick it up if you can. I know the price has been increasing st steadily with this game. Um, I think it's on PS3 as well, if I'm not mistaken. A PS2, what? Maybe PS3? I can't think of it anymore. Um, but I, I like the 360s, you know, playback, older games. So I picked that up. Sewer's so Wrath, great game if you're a God of War fan. All right. Next game is another game, I think. Um, pretty much this game is next game. They were wanting it to be like a, a, a God of War. It's almost like a God of War clone almost. Um, they wanted this to be an epic game to possibly bring. It's supposed to have been making another one, but how this game is and made and nowadays how stuff is, I doubt they'll bring it back. Plus, the studio has been done away with. Um, that game is Dante's Inferno. So. Dante's Inferno pretty much wield the power of death, soul reaping scythe. Punish the damn or absolve them. Tame an internal beast to defeat hell minions and ascend through the horror 
horrific nine circles of hell. So it kind of tells you um, pretty much what it is. Um, so pretty much you're this mid evil crusader that cheats death. So death pretty much comes to you. Death pretty much comes to you, right? And it's about to, about to take your life. But, you know, um, you cheated. You cheat death. By cheating death, you kill death. Like, death comes to you with the sight. And you pretty much take death's weapon and kill him. death with his own weapon. So, by doing so, um, you know, you have this weapon now. So, uh, in this game, you're pretty much dealing with your, your, uh, your love, your love of your life, who's been taken to hell by the devil, and you're going to hell, nine circles of death, to save her, and, you know, um, you're trying to save her, pretty much, so pretty much, let me go over the story again a little bit. Pretty much your death sent to you to kill you or take your life. You fight death, steal its scythe, and kill death. So after you killing death, your wife is, um, is dragged down to hell. And you go to hell as well to save her. And you got to deal with the nine circles of death um and pretty much you're dealing with that to save your wife and you know great game um far as it's a god of war clone you're using your weapons your scythe your scythe and your your cross that you have um as you can see on his hip those are your two weapons your scythe as you know is a pretty much almost like a it's, it's just a scythe You're using that to kill and chop up enemies your cross shoots out this holy holy beam which um are which is good on certain enemies so pretty much great game that um that they built up they even had a cartoon they had um they had a lot of things with this game a cartoon, um, what else? Action figures, everything. So this game was built up to uh, to uh, to pretty much, you know, be um, this big old game. Thanks, Mark. Mark. Uh, but um, so it was built up to be this big God of War style game. Um, so it's kind of black and white style. So, um, but yeah, um, so pretty much a lot of action, um, a lot of nudity, a lot of craziness in this game. Um, you have the, you have certain parts where you killing like these babies, these, uh, these certain babies or something like that. I'm surprised they got it in this game. Uh, these not save babies with these babies with these scythes for arms and you have that part you have these women who totally nude well not totally but the breast you know breast is out and this and that um and you get at the end towards the end you fight the devil and the devil he's got his uh he's naked as well and um he has his you know what hanging and whatever so pretty much crazy game far as like graphically is pretty wild and it's pretty cool um far as graphically and the over the top enemies um the regular enemies i've heard are just you don't have a lot of variations like compared to like god of war somewhat but um the the bosses are over the top and great i've heard um so um great game this is game is like the older god of wars so it's like pre you know before boy and all that 
So it's like those older God of War games. Um, great game that they were supposed to make a sequel to. Heard they was working on it, but it fell through because the studio visceral um, pretty much was uh, done away with. So like you can see blood, gore, violence, nudity, sexual content. So um, a lot of that in this game. I doubt they'll bring it back. Doubt, seriously doubt this game will ever. So I think this game, these the previous two games are great. You know, God of War clones, and they're pretty much. I think they're gonna be live and die on a 360. If I'm not, unless they do a remake or something like that. But I think these are great games you need to pick up before they're gone. So uh, that's gonna be it for this video. You got Dante's Inferno, Asura's Wrath, Recore, um, Evil Within Two, Evil Within One, and Trials of Cold Steel. So that's going to be it for this video. See you guys next time.